Hello, this is Rosie Amador, a voiceover artist and proud Women on Fire member. Do you dream of turning your passion into a flourishing business? This month, you'll meet a woman who knows that sweet taste of success. For the April membership, Debbie's guest is Sweet Orr, a pastry chef extraordinaire and entrepreneurial genius. Sweet was raised on a kibbutz where her mother was the master baker. Sweet learned baking at her mother's knee, but she put her own unique spin on it in a remarkable rags to riches story. In 2007, she came to the United States, an immigrant and single mom with no financial backing, and created a business from scratch. In only a year, she had her first bakery and the beginnings of a confectionery empire. Tate Bakery and Cafe was born in Boston, but you may soon find one of these delightful stores coming to your neighborhood. There are already eight Tate bakeries with many more on the way. Listen and hear as Sweet talks about nurturing a business as it grows. So let's talk about the business side of things. Now when it grows, how do you know how to do it? Hmm. Um, it's, uh, you know, you, you, they say you, you get big and stay small. Um, that's what I'm doing now. Um, you know, Tate has its um, soul and, and culture and um, there's an authentic feeling when you go in. And um, my job today is protect that, protect the brand, protect the people, uh, and make sure we, although we grow, we stay small in, our, in the way we, we think about Tate and the way we, we build it. And I do, um, yeah, I do all the design, and part of it is to make sure that, you know, everything is in place and everything still feels when you go to um, the 50th location or the 60th location, it still feels like it's the first one we did. Um, we did bring a president, uh, a woman. She's yes. Very happy about yes. it. <laughs> uh, the whole process of interviewing President Fatate was a treat. I did meet a lot of men that feel very um, empowered and knowledgeable, but I couldn't, you know, a lot of people have this amazing resume as an experience, but do they really know how to do that? The day-to-day -day grind. You don't, you, don't, you don't meet a lot of people that actually know how to do that. And uh, when I met the, it's Karen Kelly, the uh, president, um, she is a people person. She has this huge soul and warmth and care for people in her. And she understands business and how to grow it and keep it small. To hear the rest of this interview, join the Women on Fire monthly membership today. You will become part of what New York Times best-selling author Marianne Williamson calls the ultimate you-go-girl community for inspiration and support. You have only a few more days to receive the full interview, your personalized coaching materials, access to the Women on Fire private Facebook page, and much, much more. Join us today at womenonfire.com membership. We can't wait to meet you.